Jamie Small last updated 1904, September 22, 2017 The container transfer site was upgraded to a 247 freight hub in a matter of days after the earthquake. A small container transit site in Marlboro had to step up to become a massive freight hub after the November earthquake took out the South Island's coastal railway. We got it up and running within days of the main north line going down, said Murray Young, Kiwi Rail South Island Operations Manager. The Spring Creek Container Transfer Site, just north of Blenheim, operated from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., five days a week, servicing 30 to 40 trucks a day. The main north line between Blenheim and Christchurch was severely damaged by the earthquake. That all changed when the earthquake struck, cutting trains off from accessing the lower South Island. Read more hundreds welcome first freight train to Cape Moor since November 14 earthquake picked into Christchurch railway line reopens for freight rail moves closer to Kakaura with trains able to get as far north as Oro Rail near Kakaura likely out for a year, unprecedented damage to highway ground in some areas raised several meters, and rifts appeared in the roads. Railway tracks were covered by landslides, left twisted and broken, and in some places, came off their foundations. Freight train trapped by landslides north of Cape Moura after the November 14 earthquake. Kiwi Rail Freight Service 737 was cut off north of Kakapura. Trucks became the only way to transport freight between Blenheim and the southern cities. The container transfer site was renamed the Blenheim Freight Hub, and at its peak, loaded and unloaded more than 100 trucks a day. Overnight, we pretty much had to go 247, Young said. He said the company always knew it would be able to handle the increased demand. Kiwi Rail upgraded the site, tar sealing the driveway and improving the lighting and traffic management plan. It increased staff on site from 7 to 18. The company also met with the Spring Creek Business Association in Marlboro District Council to set guidelines for the increased traffic, Young said. For example, we didn't want a lot of engine braking. Main Freight Group Country Manager Craig Evans said the company established a pop-up branch at the Kiwi Rail site. About a dozen main freight trucks a day drove from Blenheim to Christchurch, and the same number in the other direction. Evans said it was difficult to get enough trucks and drivers together. Whatever capacity we could find around the country, almost, we had to position down south. He said because of the volume of freight, hours required, and terrain of the alternative route through Lewis Pass, many trucks needed two drivers. This created a knock-in effect for day-to-day -day business around the country, Evans said. It sort of put pressure on more than just that leg. The first train traveled the main north line since the earthquake on September 15, but Young said the freight hub would still have a lot of work to do because the railway was not fully reinstated. Kiwi Rail would review how the hub would be used, based on commercial activity, once trains were back on their regular schedule, Young said. It won't go to waste. We've still got all the activity from the Marlboro and Blenheim area. Stuff.